I think there's a lot of really good. Is that a bird? <laughs> what? What is we? What is this? It's one of the little birds that flies around on the map. That is incredible. That is actually incredible. It looks like Lucio is riding a bird, or he's about to drop the beat on this bird. What have we? What have we found? This is cool. Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Overanalyzed. And today we're going to take a look at a Lucio player. Now this Lucio player is on the verge of getting into Diamond. And I reckon there's a lot of players out there that are, well, they're in Plat, but they're trying to get into Diamond. And I think these players need a lot of help. Now, I promise you, this one is a Lucio overanalyzed. You guys watched the one from last week. You'll notice that that actually wasn't a Lucio overanalyzed, even though I was told it was, but it wasn't. But whatever, this one is. Now, like I said, what interests me about this is this is what the player says. I want to learn how to play Lucio better, which is fine. But then, crucially... They say this, and this is where you need to, you really need to change your mentality if this is the way you're thinking about competitive. And I hate to be an actual meme, like I know this is a meme and I am a meme, um, but rank really doesn't matter, right? And if you get that into your head, then you will develop much better as a player. All right, check this out. I want coaching to learn how to play Lucio better. I was 3,500, so that's master, that's pretty good. However, dropped to 2,800 and then kept dropping. Now, if you drop that much, you probably were never a master player. I don't know how you got there. Maybe it was luck with placements. Maybe you grouped with good players. But the problem is you generally in Overwatch stabilize at the rank you sort of, well, play at. It's really good for working out what rank players should be. I know there's problems with, yeah, you can get teammates that throw. But typically what happens, and this is a, this is a full screen moment. With Overwatch, typically what happens is you lose games, right? And then you keep losing games. That's the point where you either stop playing the game or you carry on playing the game and you don't care. This Lucio player is very much the I don't care player because check this out. I felt like I would lose games even when I was doing the most I felt I can do. For this game, I just gave up. And like I read that and I'm like, well, that's the reason why you've lost the game, right? But did they lose the game? I guess we'll wait and see. But that mentality is just like, I don't care. I, I, don't, I just don't care if I lose. It's not about losing or winning. It's about playing the best you can. And as soon as you say to yourself, I don't care, then you just, well, you don't care. You, you don't apply yourself properly. You don't play the game. You, you just mess about. And it's like, well, uh, okay, that's probably the reason. Anyway, let's move on. And then he goes on to say, uh, I want to know what I need to do to improve my Lucio gameplay. All right, okay. All right, and then tells us the outcome of the game. But I won't tell you guys that because you know, it'll be more interesting. All right, then. Let's do it. Let's get stuck into this. Let's play this. Let's go. Uh, and it is Spork we are jumping on board with. That's not Spork. That's Spork. All right, cool. Uh, it's... it's get, Come back, Spork. Where have you gone? All right. Okay. <laughs> Lucio, in it. <laughs> so, there's a couple of things we're looking for here. So, first thing we're going to do before this begins is we're just going to take a look at the team comp. Because with Lucio, you have to really be ultra aware of what your other support is doing and what your other support actually is. So in this case, it's an Anna. So where is she, the Anna? Uh, there she is. Okay, <laughs> where's the Anna? All right, so what we're looking to do in this game is protect our Anna. We are literally Anna's bodyguard. Now, you can play on the front line and assist your tanks, which, you know, we do have a Reinhardt here and we've got a soldier for DPS. And also, this soldier skin, terrible skin. Anyway... Yeah, we've got a good front line. We've got Hog. Okay, that's fine. We've got you on Lucio. So our team comp's okay. We've got Doomfist. Just wherever the hell Doomfist is. There he is. Getting ready. Like, this Doomfist is getting ready to do the old Chips special where he jumps over. Uh, he, well, he basically fists over to this roof, bounces up in the air, and then he should come this way and gets caught here <laughs> and then slides down. And I do this a lot on ladder. It's actually super effective because people don't realize you come from here. Seismic slams in. His fist is reset. Kills out. Whatever. But we're not here to talk about Doomfist. We don't care about him. So Lucio, yeah, we're looking to protect our, our other support. And this is something Lucio players generally don't do. One. They go for the memes. They go for the crazy plays. They go for the boops. You really need to look after your other support because if they die, you're absolutely screwed. All right, what are we doing here? So I'm not a fan of this, but let's just, you know, let, let's go for it. I'm not a fan of this because this is ultra aggressive. And this is, we get put to sleep here with dead. Like, we've, we, we've, I mean, we, how do we get out of this mess now? Okay, our, our Doomfist has got a kill. It looks like that, it looks like Ash can't aim and she's going to take us out. Or we're going to take her out. 
This is so dangerous. This is so dangerous. This is. You, you, I mean. I think you know why that's dangerous. Because you're going into. Like it is not worth. You going into the back line like that. To potentially get one pick. Because how the hell do you get out? You luckily got out. You had 25 HP. Against better players that are not plat players. You're not going to be able to do that. They will just kill you. I, I'm telling you right now, if that happened in my game and Lucio jumped in the back line, the team would just instantly kill. They'd turn around and kill the Lucio. And so this is another thing that we're probably going to have to focus on in this game quite a bit. And that's the development of bad habits, which are causing you to throw the game. You might not feel like you're throwing the game, but you actually are when um, you're doing stuff like that. Because that's that's just mad. All right. So again, like, what is this? Look, 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 look at our positioning here. We're not even looking at where the enemy team is. We're trying to wall climb. We failed the wall climb and we fell down into the enemy team. I mean, I would bet that you get killed here. Again, that's kind of lucky. See, the Lucio... Let's just see what you do here. All right, good. See, that was good positioning and I did, I did like that. Because I was waiting to see if you were going to go forward again, but you didn't. I like the fact you hugged the walls above your team. That's fine. That's a kill. That's fine. Then we can back out. We can speed our team forward, actually. We should... Oh, we should have gone over here and, and helped our, uh, our hog. Is he's going to die? He's died. That, he's died because we let him die. This, again, comes back to being a more... I don't, I don't really know how to phrase this, but what we've seen so far is crazy Reddit Lucio stuff where you've luckily survived. Another crazy maneuver where you've just found yourself inside the enemy team. Good plays, you were hugging the wall and booping and got a kill. And then our team pushed forward and we just left the hog. We just left him to die. We could have saved hog with speed. We could have gotten out of there, but we just didn't seem to care. We do have beat coming up now, so we'll see what we're going to do. Again, like this wall climbing around the middle here, all we're doing is exactly that, exactly the point I was about to make. We just got hit by, uh, it looked like a Hanzo. Yeah, it was a Hanzo that hit us. That could have been a headshot. You know, if that was a headshot, we're dead. And, and what have we got in 7% time? We've got beat. We, we really have to start thinking, look, we don't want to die when we've got our ultimate available because we could need this to deal with what the enemy team have got. In this case, we're looking at the enemy team and we're thinking it'd be good against Bob, but, well, Bob's not ready. And also, our Anna should probably put Bob to sleep. It'll be good against Dragon if Dragon starts to hit us. It'd be good against Diva Bomb. It'd be good if we can uh, apply it to our team when Earth Shatter is used on us. So... There's, there's a, you know, it's going to be a really powerful ultimate for us. Again, we're going for this sort of let's go into the back line. Not a fan of this. I'm really not a fan of this because this is not. All right, our soldier. Okay, now it's fine because our soldiers killed their main healer and killed Ash. So now it really doesn't matter. But we should be looking to heal. Like, are we going to amp it up here? Okay, that's mental off their Reinhardt. We're just going to go back here because I want you to watch the health of Doomfist. This is why I was getting worried, right? So here we're doing a bit of cheeky wall riding. This, all right, let's take him on 1v1. All right, this is okay in a microcosm. But the way we got here going on some massive detour around the back is crazy because we're not with our team. We're not looking after our Anna. We're not giving any assistance to our team. We're out on our own trying to solo with Lucio, which isn't the play, right? That's not going to get you to higher levels of the game, right? You've probably been watching Funny Astro, though, so hey. Anyway, this here, watch the Doomfist help. Look at the Doomfist. There's a massive critical marker on Doomfist, yet we're not amping it up at any point here. He's li Look at him. He's literally one. Dude, what number is he? He's a uh, four. He's 77 HP, Doomfist. I mean, look at him. He's dying for, for a heal. He gets healed off Anna. That Earth Shatter is crazy off there, Reinhardt, but we take it. But we could have made sure he didn't die. We should have immediately amped up as soon as we seen that low health, uh, you know, just or, or at least been on healing. But we should have amped. Like, you, you've got to use... I mean, okay, that happened. I'm not entirely sure how that did happen, but we just died to a baby diva. Whatever. All right, then. So we're looking to wall jump off the... See, you don't need to... I don't need to tell you about wall jumping. You understand how to use this hero. You're playing him quite well. You've took the fastest route back to the point. I enjoy it. I love it. And then we drop down right in front of the choke. I don't love that. And we did get hit by a fire strike, but it could have been something more menacing. It could have been like an arrow from Hanzo that instantly kills us. 
Right, our Doomfist is getting kills. Now, this is something you will see a lot of at this rank. Um, it's Doomfist is ultra effective because the enemy team are not dealing with a Doomfist. Like, look at their, look at their DPS, right? A Hanzo and an Ash into a Doomfist is not the answer. Um, they need a May. They really need a May. They could probably do with a Brig as well on support. You've got to deal with the Doomfist. And you know what? This is probably something, you know, like... For... I'm going off on a bit of a tangent here, but I am... I don't want to say depressed because that's obviously strong, but... I think there's a lot of really good... Is that a bird? <laughs> what? What is... We... What is this? It's one of the little birds that flies around on the map. That is incredible. That is actually incredible. It looks like Lucio's riding a bird or he's about to drop the beat on this bird. What have we, what have we found? This is cool. Anyway, what I was going to say is... It, it's... I, I... There are... Like, I guess what I'm saying is I want to make guide videos and show you guys how to deal with this stuff, but I kind of don't think there's enough people playing competitive to make it worthwhile. So Doomfist is, he needs to be dealt with. And Doomfist absolutely dominates a lot of the ranks in the game. He's like Reaper. He's like, um, May can do it to some extent as well, where throughout, let's, I'm just going to use these as, as example ranks, but let's say from gold to, uh, let's say, platinum, high platinum, Doomfist can do what he likes, and he just gets kill after kill after kill. This is because the enemy team are not dealing with him. And the way to deal with him is dead simple. You just make a little change, and you can deal with him. You can either just focus him and take him out, or you could swap to, say, in this example, we don't really want the hand, so he's not great against the Doomfist. So let's maybe get a May, and then let's try and lock the Doomfist down when he comes in. There's all these little things you can do, and I really want to make those type of videos. I just don't feel, like, I feel really frustrated, like there's not enough... Demand for them, I guess, is the best word. Anyway, that's off on a mad tangent. Let's carry on with the video. So, uh, yeah, we dropped down from the sky. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I lost what I was talking about. You, you're getting the, the, the creator woes, <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. All right, then. So, back to wall riding around the middle of the tower, which is whatever. We still haven't had to use our beat here. Like, And I guess another interesting or important thing we do need to talk about is um, usage of ultimates. Or rather, your role as Lucio in tracking ultimates. So, there are two different types of Lucio. <laughs> What's happened to his arm? Oh, no. All right, so there's two different types of Lucio. There's the Reddit Lucio, who just memes around on the front line doing whatever the hell he wants. Now, if you're incredibly skillful, go and do it. And then there is the Lucio that is leading the team. There is the, 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 the non-brain-dead Lucio who actually wants to try and make an impact with his team and not make insane solo plays. And this Lucio isn't probably riding the top of the tower. I'm not going to lie. Uh, he's probably with his team doing something. But what he's also doing is tracking enemy ultimates. Now, he looks at the enemy team and thinks, what ultimates do they have? Well, we know they used Earth Shatter. They are fairly close to another one, but we know they used that, that in a previous fight, so they don't have that. We haven't seen Bob yet, so we expect Bob. We expect Dragon, and we expect Bomb, because we've not seen them, and there's only a minute left on the clock. So we can actually get a ton of value here with our sound barrier. So we're really looking to use it in this fight because it will counteract some of the enemy ultimates. But that only works if we know the enemy are going to have ultimates. And it's actually really easy to, to predict when enemy ultimates are going to come out. What I like to do, and this is taken from uh, pro teams use this strat, is when there's any downtime, just ask what ultimates have been used and it refreshes your memory. And you think, okay, um, guys, what ults have been used? Has the Reinhardt used this shatter? It's, it's really great, right? And it'll give you a ton of information. And then you can work out what ultimates are coming up. So you seem to be going for this a lot. The, the, the Doomfist diving with you here could actually be decent, I guess. Like, the fact you're going in with him, he's been nanoed. But we've got to be really aware that there's a, there's a load of ultis going off. Right then, so we've beat it. But we've got a problem with this beat. Now, look at the... Um, so look in the top left, above my head. You can see there are three members of our team that do not have beat. Now, the most crucial member of the team that requires beat is Anna. We cannot have Anna die, all right? We need to keep her alive. Anna is in a... I mean, she should put to sleep, Bob. Hopefully, she does that. But the reason why this is terrible is we are... Like, we're here on the front line again. We were on this tower, and we actually could have... If we stayed on the tower, we could have dropped down here and made sure we hit the crucial um, members that mattered. Or we could even do crazy stuff like try and beat from above... Oh, you know, there's loads of stuff we could do. Instead, we've give beat to, well, it's going to be kind of effective on Doomfist, but then everyone else is sort of, yeah, let, I mean, let's see what happens. But I don't think this is necessarily a great sound barrier. 
and it's going to run out before any sort of value is had from it. So Anna didn't put Bob to sleep, so that's a problem. Doomfist is dead. We did get a pick. Anna's now dead because we've just done whatever. So if you were with Anna looking after her, she'd still be alive here. And in the grand scheme of things, with a team fight breaking out, it's essential Anna survives uh, instead of Doomfist, you know? So that there was just a complete positional problem. I'm, I mean, we really need to go back and highlight this. So let's just take a look at this again. So we're riding around the tower, you know, whatever. We should be... I mean, if you want to do this, we should be spamming shots at the enemy team as well. You guys can see them down there. You should be firing at them as you go around on the wall, not just focusing on wall riding. So then we're thinking, right, we're going to go on a flank here. All right, let's go. Doomfist comes in. Doomfist gets nanoed. We speed him in. We're going in. We're in the back line. All right. Popping away, popping away. We start to do a bit of war. No, we don't. What we're doing is we're using this because we hear Bob, which is fine. You know, you, Sound Barrier does counter Bob in some ways. Um, I'm more worried about Diva Bomb and, and Dragon. Anna should be putting Bob to sleep, but whatever. It's a, it's a fast reaction. The problem is, because we're so out of position here, we're not really giving anything to our team. We're staying on speed as well. When Do we really need speed when they're all sort of together in the corner? Maybe we could have been on healing a bit quicker there. It's only a little minor change, but it might have given us a little bit more survivability. I don't think it would have made much difference just because the beat was in such a bad position and because our Anna died. So all of this that just happened is it's just a pure positional problem where we should have been with the Anna expecting a heavy push from the enemy team. Now, I've there's, there's something... Uh, people say it's a phenomenon with Overwatch where it's like last fight syndrome. So the very last fight, which is going to break out before overtime kicks in or before you know, the timer runs out, you always lose that fight. No, it's because the enemy just generally come in and press Q. Everyone uses an ultimate ability, and it's about trying to predict that and counter them with your ultimate abilities. And we didn't really do that very well. We could have maybe held that if we played a little bit better. Anyway, let's focus on what's happening here now. So we are we're on the high ground, which I don't mind again. We've seen off the D.Va. I don't mind it. There's a Reinhardt there. Yeah. See, you're playing Lucio really well. Your Lucio movement is great. Think about being caught out of position. Reinhardt's one. Could we help Reinhardt with healing? So I think you are a little bit focused on fragging at the moment. That's a really strange dragon, but we'll take it. We're looking to amp up immediately. Amp up. We should be amping up here. We should be on healing and amping up. Now, why I'm saying that is because we're taking damage and it's going to, well, help us take less damage. Um, yes, you don't really just want to blow Amp it up with, for no reason, but we could have used Amp it up and it's available again now and then it's available again, you know. So we're not maximizing um, usage of our abilities. And this, again, is another thing that differentiates higher level players between lower level players. They do more stuff. So just do more stuff. Try and always um, stagger the D.Va as well. Like I, I'll never understand how people... I've got this down here, look. <laughs> it's freezing cold in here, so I've got a heater underneath. <laughs> oh, my days. Uh, yeah, I'll, ne I'll never understand um, what I was going to say, because I just forgot, because the heater confused me. Let's pause this. Let's go back. What the hell was I talking about? Let's go. Yeah, Baby Diva. Don't let Baby Diva die. Uh, just, just, I mean, just, just stagger forever and ever and ever, and then kill her as the fight begins, because then it's a free fight win. Heal. Yeah. We could beat again. We could beat again here. So, we could have beat it there. We didn't, which is fine. Um, but we really need to be aware of the Diva Bomb. We've still not seen this Diva Bomb. Um, when it happens, it's... It's fine. See, that's... There's the Diva Bomb. Still fine. So, that's fine. Like, I actually, I kind of like that reaction because the... The, nice. The Reinhardt was super low. And we did uh, drop the beat on him and kept him alive. And there was only 35 seconds left. And the enemy team, uh, they don't really have much in the way of ultimates online. Um, but again, this is the period of the game now where you say as a Lucio player, what ults did they use, guys? Unless you you can memorize what they've done. And then in that case, you tell your team like, hey, I think they've got beat. And they might have dragon. You know, that type of stuff. Maybe they've got nano. Where's Earthshatter? That, that type of info. But like here again, I want you to just spam more at the enemy team. I just shoot them. See? 
See, this might sound a little bit petty, but just watch this, right, as it plays out. You could have been firing at this Hanzo as you're dropping down on top of him, then meleeing him, then using close range with the, the boop. So watch this as it breaks out. Right, we're going to commit now. So we're committing to the fight. Why are we not? Here we go. Why are we not firing at this Hanzo? Like, we could have been firing at him, meleeed him, booped him, then fired at him again, and booped him. We could have just ruined his day. I mean, we still ruined his day, and we're going to ruin Ash's day here. We need to be aware, though. Nice, nice. Nice movement. Heal. A little bit too aggressive, but whatever. Like, we're, we're in overtime here. We should still be able to get back and contest this, potentially. I mean, 100% we'll be able to contest, but we're going to wait and see what happens. But, like, in this game, I've seen a worrying, um, complete lack of... I don't care what my Anna's doing. Nice, nice, nice. Of course, this is a great area for Lucio to get a ton of boobs. Nice. And then he didn't get to the point. So it's like it's okay, but I'm feeling what we've got here is... Like, when I look at the email and you were in Master, but now you're in Platinum. I think it's because your play's a little bit um, bipolar. You're very aggressive, then sometimes you're kind of not. And... There's like no middle ground there. It's not like we're playing a defensive Lucio or a team orientated Lucio, or we're just playing an outright like I'm Lucio on the front line and I'm just gonna meme and just try and do whatever to people. Um, like you, you've got to realize there'll be gaps in play. So imagine if Doomfist was on the enemy team and I was playing that Doomfist. Yeah, all I'd be looking to do is target your Anna, and I'd wait for Anna and I'd seismic slam her uppercutter and kill her. And then I'd get the hell out of there. She could maybe put me to sleep, but I'd I'd listen for the sleep dart sound effect. And as soon as I hear that, I just go straight in and kill her. If you're with her, you can boot me away. Or heal her. Right? And maybe she survives through it, but you'd be looking to boot away. But you're not actually doing that. So it would be a massive window of just your Anna's getting killed over and over again. So those are kind of things we have to think about. Like for when we're trying to get like into higher levels of play, we're trying to push through Platinum into Diamond, then going to Master and above. So, yeah, like, you can probably tell by my reaction, I'm not like the biggest fan of this kind of Lucio play, because you're a support, right? I don't care if Doomfist does this, I don't care if Farrah does this, but we or Echo does this, but we're doing it, and it's like, well, what are we looking to do here? Like, we're just leaving our team to get killed, so we've lost our Doomfist. We might get one cheeky kill, maybe. But w at what cost? Like, are we going to be able to win this fight? No. Are we just staggering out the respawn of our team? Yeah. Like, how? Like, why are we not disengaging from this? We've lost almost all of our team. We're going to lose Diva Mech. So... Like, this is very frustrating play to watch, this is. This is super frustrating. This is... We're not winning this fight. Unless Doomfist kills everyone. Doomfist! Right. We still, we need, we still need to go back here, because this is still... Like, so this fight here, like, in the normal flow of the fight, you'd be looking at disengaging here, right? So, okay, we've got to pick whatever. Mech gets destroyed. Diva gets destroyed. So all we've got here is you and Doomfist. But Doomfist being Doomfist. I mean, look at this fight here. Look at that. The enemy team are chilling there. You've got you. Doomfist is coming in. We've got Anna. To be fair, like I guess we should have probably gone back a little bit further here to make the point uh, I was trying to make. This goddamn ticking sound. In fact, actually, let's do an overview of this. You'll just... You'll, what is it with Diva's mech and the replay viewer? It, it gets so screwy. Oh, for God's sake. This bug, Blizzard, you've got to fix this bug. It is driving me up the wall. Okay, let's just watch this, right, from above. And you'll see what I'm saying here. Because it's like a crazy flank. So, you can see us coming around the side. Echo, Doomfist, um, Diva. So, it's a massive flank around the side. But we go in as the Lucio and we try and take the Hanzo on. Doomfist is dead. Anna is dead. So at this point, again, this is, you know, this is one of the, the things sometimes where it can be a bit confusing with the coaching stuff because in my head straight away, it's like, okay, this fight's over because we've just lost two of our team. We can't win. Things happen, different ranks and stuff. So we get a kill here. This is fine, right? But then we lose our echo. So at this point, 
This is why I'm screaming, get out, get out, get out. Because what have we got here? Like, there, there's Moira, there's Hog, there's Batiste, there's Orissa, there's Junkrat. And what we've got here is a Diva and a Lucio in the back line. Now, in any level above the rating of this game, these players will just turn around and kill you on the point. But they don't. Look, I don't know what they do. So this is more poor play from the enemy team than anything else. I think they're just having a real bad time trying to actually kill you. And then what happens over here is, for some reason, our Arissa is... That, well, their Arissa is there. I don't know. Again, I don't know why she's there. Like, this is a horrifically bad decision by the enemy team. So what I'm trying to actually explain here... It isn't always cut and dry, right? It's not like, uh oh this is a win or this is a defeat. Or a lost fight. This should have been a lost fight. But it wasn't because the enemy team then went and made, frankly, comically bad decisions repeatedly. And I don't... It's crazy. Like, in any other game, you're just going to die here. I mean, we even lose D.Va. D.Va gets D-mecked. Like, Hog hooks us, then doesn't actually connect with us or kill us. And then Doomfist comes in and just cleans everyone up. Funky. Well, hopefully you get what I'm trying to say here. So, like... If not for the poor play of the enemy team there, we wouldn't have been able to actually make anything work on the point there. There was a point where we should have gone back, and that was after we got two picks against us. We should have thought, uh-oh, we need to get the hell out of it. We will ride back to our team, and then we carry on. But things happened, and it's like... This, again, is like... Uh, this is also one of the, um, the things with Overwatch, where sometimes people will be like, well, you know... It, it looks to me like this person is going to win uh, in this game. And they captured that point, so clearly that was the right thing to do. And it kind of was, and it wasn't. And it was, it was a lucky thing. And that's what happens in Overwatch. There's a ton of variables, so sometimes things can happen that are out of your control, that turn a really bad play into a passable, decent play, and you get a result from it. And that's why it's always super difficult with Overwatch to just make cut-and-dry statements of, like, Torbjorn is terrible. Because Torbjorn might be really good in certain examples, and, of course, there are people that have taken Torbjorn to the very highest level of the ladder. So it's hard to make like generalized statements, but you just sort of have to look at a framework and work through that. At least I hope I'm making sense here, guys. All right, so um, we're pushing the payload, as every good Lucio should be. But we should heal. Like, I mean, Doomfist is, is, is not full HP. We're deciding to go forward super aggressive. Again, like, this is... You see where the payload is, right? And you see where you are, going super aggressive and forward. Like, look at your position relative to your team and tell me this doesn't look a bit silly. Like, this looks very silly. I know what you're trying to do. You're trying to get some sort of crazy environmental kill. Now, maybe you do. We'll slow this down. Maybe you do, maybe you don't. It's going to be hard to get Moira. She shouldn't die to that, yeah. But we are, like, in the back of the enemy team here. This is... I mean, this is something else, this is. <laughs> this is something else. Yeah, but see, okay, so now this is when we worry, right? Because look at this. You've got the Batiste who just took a pot shot at you. You've got Moira who is, I'm afraid she's just going to kill us if she wants us to die. This bad boy's turned around. So we're like, oh, shite. What are we going to do? Uh, we're probably going to die here unless we can magically get away. Yeah, we're dead. We're, we're so, you're so dead. And that was that. Oh, that's a Batiste. I was like, what the hell is that? That's a Batiste uh, healing grenade. And congratulations, that's the thumbnail of the video. <laughs> Actually, I don't think I've got this set to do high quality screenshot. No, I don't. Uh, but we'll, in fact, we'll sort that now, ladies and gentlemen. We'll sort that now. So this is what you do to take a good screenshot. Go in. You go resolution times nine. You go, uh, give me 200%. Actually, we're on low graphics as well. We'll go epic. Although not all of these settings will take effect. But this should mean we can now take a much higher resolution screenshot, he says. That doesn't seem to have worked. Didn't I not save it? Oh, dear me. What have I done here? What have I done? I did not save it. Now I have. Excellent stuff. There we go. And so now we'll take a high resolution screenshot. And when you do this, there's no UI. You can hide the UI anyway with Alt and X. Actually, maybe this is a... A better thumbnail. <laughs> hmm. 
I don't know. I mean, like, I don't know. <laughs> we'll, we'll take a screenshot just in case. I kind of like these, these, these like, screenshots. Like, I, to me, this looks like a thumbnail, right? You've got the Lucio to the side, and then you can put the text and stuff. But I don't think it works well on YouTube. But anyway, uh, let's take that just in case. <laughs> anyway, you can see what I was saying. You were hilariously out of position to the point of, well, you just fed your brains out there. And the other point I was trying to make is, where's the payload? It's only just gone through the choke. Like, we... We haven't really achieved anything there, apart from feeding our brains out and dying to the enemy team. Alright, so we need to get our, our arse back as soon as possible. Again, showing great wall riding. I mean, like, I'd expect this. At this level of the game, I'd expect um, Lucio players to just be able to wall ride um, effectively. Oh, that is nice. Oh, that's also nice of Hog, though. Ooh, okay. I'm not a fan of that. Um, simply because it was only Hog ulting us. And, and it's not like we were taking massive damage. But it's also not bad. I mean, it's like... You, I mean... I'd also be annoyed if you didn't use your ultimates, then we just get to the end of the game and it's like, whatever. Because we are so close here. And um, we should push forward, though. Yes, this is... No, 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 no. We should get out. We should get over here. I, I, I'd i get right on top of this door. Honestly, I'd be right on top of the door, spamming through the door and everything. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, there's a Hanzo there. I'd kill the Hanzo as well. Uh-oh. 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 Uh-oh, uh -oh. no. Oh, no. Oh, Reinhardt, no. Uh, it, it is the worst. This is, this is the worst... Uh oh I mean, that's just unlucky. It is the worst feeling ever as a Reinhardt, that is, when you just sort of, you know it's coming and nobody's helping you and you're just spinning around hoping that you can somehow deflect it. Nice, but we've killed us. <laughs> oh, no! We live! We live! Yes, yes. Oh, no. Praise Jeff, we live. Thank you. <laughs> just kill the Zen. Take the Zen 1v1 him. I'm turning into a Reddit loose. So heal! He's too slow on the healing. Kill him. Just destroy him. Oh, no, no, no. See, we could have just gone mega aggressive on him and killed him and got the hell out. But we sort of, we're on him, we're off him, we're on him, we're off him. Now we're in the back. We need to disengage. Get back with our team. Our worst enemy, Moira, is on us. He's going to kill us. And then it's like we didn't get anything. So again, this is that duality of the nature of your play. It's either I'm going to be aggressive. Actually, I'm not going to be too aggressive. Or I'm just going to feed. <laughs> but I'm not going to be super defensive. Like, I've not seen you at any point. Look after your team. Like, there's been no real defensive boots to try and counter what the enemy team are doing. It's just been, I'm just going to dive into the enemy team and see what happens. And I think sometimes you're going to need to identify that. Like, again, look at this. We're going straight into the back line, which is okay. If we can kill this guy and get the hell out really quick, that's fine. I mean, we've got two kills here, so we should... We'll kill... Good kill. I mean, this is this is just cleanup now at this point. Yeah, I don't. I, I mean, like when it's a final fight, like that's actually a really nice hook. I don't mind just using your ultimate straight away. The enemy team are trickling in. You know, like there's nothing really they're going to do. Hopefully. You know, like, I mean, I, I would obviously advise against that if they had something like Graviton available or we knew they had an Earth Shower or something. I mean, they have used it, so we should have picked up on that uh, in the previous fight. So, it, Victory. it's like... It was decent, that was. Like, I think it was decent. I just think... Um, well, I'm not going to go over it again. I think that was a pretty in-depth um, overanalyze. You, you guys have watched it. I'm not just going to sit here and recap like, oh, yeah, well, I think this was great. And good. You're a good player. You've shown very good Lucio mechanics, but you've shown a little bit of sort of crazy decision making. I think if you rein that in and you make more logical decisions, you'll probably be a better player and you'll easily go through the ranks. But I think you're a good player. And this just comes back to the whole idea of within Overwatch, I think there's a lot of good players, but often you tend to get quite frustrated. And this happens to me as well. And you'll get frustrated and you'll just do dumb things. And it's you've, if you cut that out, you will gain more SR. And when you start realizing that your rank doesn't really matter, but what does matter is becoming a better player. And then you get more rank. It's like this beautiful thing where... You focus on becoming better, you get better. It's great. 
All right, guys, if you enjoyed Overanalyze, then do consider sending in your own clips and your own replay codes. Go to unitloss.com forward slash overanalyzed and you might appear on the show. But do remember, we get, um, I think this week, we got something like I think about 2,900 submissions. So there's a lot that come in every week. But keep sending them in because remember when the game updates, all the replay codes no longer work. All right, guys, I'll catch you on the next video. Toodaloo. And thanks for watching as well.